imagine this is all very uncomfortable for you. I don't mind the questions. It's what's behind the questions that makes my wounds deeper. What's behind them? An attempt to get at the truth. The truth? What I've told you is it the truth? So I hope. No matter how much we may lack a witness, we have an obligation to probe, to gather all the facts we can. So what other questions do you have? This man who abducted your children, Mrs. Vaughn. Uh, oh, Medea. Call me Medea. I feel so old when people call me Medea. This man, had you seen him before? I don't think so. We identified a man who resembled the one you described. You have? Yes, but uh, he had an alibi, so we had to let him go. Though we are keeping him under surveillance. We're, uh, we're back to searching in a dark maze. Why do you think someone would commit a crime like this? I have no way of knowing. And I don't care what the reason is. Whoever did this is mentally unstable. A sick human being. More like a beast. Uh, Medea, where were you headed that night uh, before you went out on the road? Just like I've said before, I just dropped my kids off with Donna. Any particular reason they were at Donna's? No. I had gone out to try and find Hayne Peterson. You found him? No. They said he'd left his office for the day. Nobody knew where he went. So what were the children doing with Donna? She was watching them till I got back. So you had plans to come back for him later that evening? It's hard to say. Now, if I'd found Hain, we probably would have spent the night. I hope you don't mind my honesty. That is what we're trying to deal with here, right? Honesty? Yes, uh, certainly you're, you are correct. Uh, so, uh, if you'd uh, spent the night children would stay at Donna's? I guess so. I would have called her. She uh, takes care of the children often? No. Well, she does keep them more than anybody else, I guess. A couple nights a week, maybe. No, who else sits for? Mama. Not too much, because she and Darcy are often too busy. Then I'd call Sharon Kessler. Or Susan Stanton, or Miss Pickens, which is the mama's neighbor. Friends, I guess. People I know well. Are these uh, standing arrangements? Whenever I need help, I just call around. And it happened often that you needed help? Not too often, I don't think. I uh, have some information here about last week. I Typical week for you or not. Uh, let's see. Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, Wednesday night, you didn't come back for the children at all. You didn't come back to them until Thursday morning. Is that right? I guess so. The uh, previous week, uh, Monday. How did you get all that information? Didn't get it personally, the deal. The investigators got it from the people who sat. Do you want their names? What were you doing those nights you weren't with the children? connection between where I went at night and my baby's kidnapping. We have to gather all the information we can. There's no telling what may prove useful later on. 
No detail is too insignificant. Maybe somebody was trailing. Maybe one of the people you were dating had something to do with this. We don't know. Well, that sounds kind of far-fetched to me. We have to follow every lead. And without information, we don't have any leads. Now, uh, some people say you, uh, you lead a pretty active social life. You got anything to say about that? My social life doesn't seem to me any more active than anybody else's. Besides, I can't worry too much about the opinions of people in this rat hole town. Do you know how old I am? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And my oldest child was three. Something we forget to think about when we decide to marry so young. At 18 years old, I had the responsibility of a home. But if a girl doesn't get married around here, right after high school, as soon as she has a boyfriend, well, what's left for her to do? At least we have a partner for life. Some do, anyway. You don't? I thought I did. But, uh, you're an attractive woman, um... You must have had several boyfriends before you were married. Uh, you could have waited to choose. Nobody around here wants to take that kind of risk with a sure thing. In the end, it would have turned out the same way anyway. Yes, uh, men aren't always the best at appreciating a woman. Uh, I'm a man, I admit that myself. Uh, you obviously had the roughest time with unappreciative men. You feel they treated you in a way you didn't deserve. Most did. Gigantic letdown. Even your father? My dad was dead before I really knew him. Sorry. Uh, not Mr. Russell, though. Darcy? <laughs> Darcy was just an occasional pause along the way. A convenient rest area along a busy interstate. He wasn't one of your boyfriends. Oh, but he was. Your stepfather? My sweet stepdaddy. Surely Mrs. Russell was unaware of this. You could say she ignored it without being ignorant of it. Ignorance is bliss, people say. It's also blight. It's all in what you prefer. If choice is at all an option. For Mama, it's a permanent state. What she won't see won't be real. Did you continue seeing Mr. Russell? I mean, even after you were married? Yeah. We were so used to each other by then. We used each other like a bad habit. You had a husband. Wasn't that enough for you? I guess not. But you're through with Mr. Russell now. I'm less amused by it now, if that counts. Do you feel shame about it? Remorse? Remorse? Why? Did anybody who ever used me feel any guilt? Anybody who ever abandoned me when I needed them most ever feel any guilt? Your husband. Did he know? About Darcy? Yeah. I told him that it happened for the first time when I was 15. <laughs> he never asked me anything else about it. And I never said anything about it again.